Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Um, today our uh, I will discussing to you regarding uh, chimney. Uh, chimney uh, actually can be seen usually in the power plant and some industrial plant. Uh, so what you mean by chimney? Okay. Purpose of chimney is to discharge discharge the exhaust gases at suitable height so that there will be no pollution generated in the vicinity okay so the second uh, function or purpose of chimney is to produce the necessary draft or current required for the flow of the gases okay so uh, stack also is uh, can be given to a uh, name given to steel chimney. Stack we could, we call it a steel chimney. This is what we are naming for steel chimney stack. Okay. Uh, now we have uh, calculation of chimney diameter and height using the basic gas laws using the basic gas law so here I have here some uh, diagram or schematic diagram for uh, chimney this one this area is the uh, furnace okay where the combustion of fuels is um, operated and this one is the exhaust pipeline of the uh, furnace going to the chimney so this guys this vertical uh, cylindrical or as a uh, column is we call the chimney or stack okay so the principle of this chimney is there will be a fuel to be uh, given inside the furnace there will be fuel intake for burning the fuel sir and accommodate with, with uh, air passing the furnace so once it is uh, mixed this two air and the fuel it will combust in the furnace will burn so all the smoke or gases will flow to the chimney after passing the furnace there will be the uh, initial temperature of the flue gas we call it T1 and going up to the chimney the T2 means the outside temperature of the chimney and this is the height we could represent as H height of the chimney and this one is diameter most chimney are cylindrical type or taper type so this one is the diameter okay so flue gases will flow going up to the atmosphere so flue gas is for the mass of fuel plus the mass of air okay so after um, discussing the diagram, I will uh, explain what are the parameters for the chimney. First is the this internal diameter of chimney in terms of meters. For tapering chimney, D is the internal diameter at the top for tapering. Okay. Next is the H height of chimney in meters so we are using in meters next parameters the ta uh, temperature of air entering the furnace in terms of degrees kelvin okay uh, other parameter is the tg tg means the temperature of flue gas uh, temperature of flue gas or the average temperature of flue gas is in terms of degrees Kelvin next parameter is the RA meaning it's the gas constant of air next is the RG it is the gas constant of flue gases next parameter we have here is the pressure barometric pressure or the atmospheric pressure which is equal to 101.325 kilopascal 
So guys, these are the parameters on how to calculate the chimney diameter and the uh, height using the basic gas laws. Another uh, topic here is the height. Another parameter to calculate is the height of the chimney. So when, uh, once we once we know the diameter, the next step to be designed is the height of the chimney. So again, these are the uh, calculation of how to find the height of the chimney. So first parameter is the HW. This is, <coughs> this is the drop pressure. Drop pressure or the current pressure of the flow which is equal to H means this is the height of the chimney, vertical height of the chimney times the difference of density of air minus the density of flue gas in terms of kilopascal and then uh, as I mentioned just now DE is the density of air uh, we have the standard formula or density of air P means pressure over uh, RA times the TA or the gas constant of air times temperature of air next is the DG DG means density of flow gases which is equal to P over RG times TG or gas constant flow gas constant and the gas temperature or flow gas temp temperature next parameters what we have is the TG TG is the average of temperature of flow gases entering from the chimney or the uh, Ex entering the chimney going to the upper part of chimney or exit of chimney so T1 plus T2 over to the average of the flow gas and something of TG next is diameter next to be calculated for designing the chimney is diameter so to proceed further we need to know first the uh, flow flow rate of the gas which is equal to the area of the chimney times the velocity of gas so 5d squared over 4 times the velocity okay qg which is equal to volume flow volume flow of flow gases which is equal to the mass of gas times the gas constant times the temperature of flow gas over pressure in terms of cubic meter per second the volume flow of flow gas is in terms of cubic meter per second next parameter is the velocity velocity is the actual velocity of the flow gases in terms of meter per second okay. then it's with this equal to square root of 2g times the pressure drop over the density of ga uh, blue gas g here is the constant so the actual velocity of flue gases in chimney is only around 30 to 50 percent of theoretical velocity meaning the actual velocity shall be multiplied the theoretical velocity by a coefficient of 0.3 to 0.5 so in actual practice we can use as a 0.4 the average of the coefficient okay the actual velocity will be equal to theoretical velocity times uh, c v where CV is equal to velocity coefficient which is equal to 0.4 okay this 0.4 is the usual assumption for designing the chimney for the coefficient of velocity average of this 0.3 to 0.5 okay so the next is we will show you some example problem for better understanding now I ha we have here the problem if the actual drop if the actual drop required or if the actual current required for a furnace is 
7.39 cm of water and the frictional losses in the stock are for the 14 percent of the vertical drop then calculate the required stock height or the chimney height in, in terms of meters assuming that the flow gas have an average temperature of 150 degrees centigrade and the molecular weight as well of 32 so assume air temperature of 22 degrees centigrade okay centigrade okay see guys as you can see in this problem the requirement is we need to estimate or we need to calculate the height of the chimney how much height of the chimney will be uh, created knowing these uh, parameters or data given values so to solve this one further uh, it's w we go back to the original equation or what you have uh, mentioned earlier hw is the total drop okay which is equal to 7.39 centimeter of water plus 14 percent of the total drop okay so by simplifying this expression we need to uh, transfer this one to the left okay so that it will be 1 minus 0.14 is equal to 0.86 it's w so 7.39 divided by 0.86 the, to the total drop will be 8.59 centimeter of water okay. so again we need to convert the centimeter of water into kilopascal so 8.59 centimeter will be divided by 100 centimeter to become meter and then times 9.81 kilonewton per <clears throat> per make uh, no, per uh, nine times 9.81 uh, kilonewton so the resulting total drop pressure is equal to 0.84 kilopascal kilopascal means kilonewton per square meter okay this is the calculated total drop of the chimney so knowing these values we can solve for the density of air so the density of air de is equal to p over ra times the e p is the standard pressure of air this is equal to 101.325 kilopascal over the const, uh, gas constant or the const, uh, of air is equal to 0 0.287 times Temperature of air given the problem is 22 degrees centigrade plus 273. So the density of air is equal to 1.2 kilogram per cubic meter. So after solving the density of air, we need to solve also the density of the flow gas. So flow gas R is equal to 8.3143 divided by the molecular weight as given the problem which is 32 of the flow gas so 32 substituting here is 32 so r density of flow gas is equal to 0.86 okay so density i know the gas constant of r is called of, of gas is equal to 0.26 now solving for the density of gas, we have the formula here, uh, P over Rg times Tg, pressure over gas constant times the uh, temperature of flow gas. So P will be the standard uh, temperature, uh, sorry, pressure, the, the standard pressure or, or atmospheric pressure, which is equal to 101.325 divided by the Gas, cons gas constant which is calculated 0.26 see here we substituted 0.26 times the uh, gas temperature 150 plus 273 this 273 case this is a conversion for it to become degrees kelvin so we need to convert so that the all the units will be consistent so the value of gas density is equal to 0.9 to 1 kg per cubic meter 
Okay. So knowing the total trap, knowing also the density of air and the flow gas, then we can um, compute now the height of the chimney. So 0.84 is the total drop as you can see here is equal to height of the chimney see total drop is equal to height of the chimney times the difference of density of air and the flow gas so substitute 0.84 from this uh, calculation and can and to be equated to height of chimney times DE is the density of air which is 1.2 so this one is 1.2 minus density of flue gas is equal to 0.921 kg so this is in terms of kilograms per cubic meter okay so we need to convert the kilograms in terms of kilonewton so that's why we multiply by 0 0.00981 uh, factor, multiplying factor. Now by simplifying this uh, expression, the resulted height of the chimney or the stack is equal to 306.9 meters. See guys, As can you imagine the height of the chimney which is equal to 300 plus 306.9 meters. So, again, this is uh, one example of the chimney that I am sharing to you. Okay, so I hope this will help all for students who are studying engineering courses and some junior engineers who are practicing or uh, working in the construction, mo mostly in the power plant because chimney is one of the parts of the constructing a power plant okay so thank you for watching and uh, please don't forget to uh, like and share and subscribe our channels and comment for my youtube channel so that we will give you some more future videos so i can notify you in some more okay so bye bye thank you for watching